by Bassmaster Fishing 2022 by Dovetail Games. Experience action-packed bass fishing at real-world lakes with fully customizable characters and 10 pro bass anglers to fish with. The official game of Bassmaster is available now on PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox Series SX, Xbox One, and Steam with crossplay enabled multiplayer. Bassmaster Fishing 2022, we'll see you out on the water. This live stream is brought to you in part by Bassmaster Fishing 2022 by Dovetail Games. Experience action-packed bass. Uh, none of my buttons are working. What's the deal? Jeez Louise, and this is messed up too. Oh man, nothing's working out today. How's it going, everyone? Bo here, obviously, with the uh, Monday stream. Good to see some people in the chat. It's a slow Monday, evidently. People are people are busy off doing other stuff. This is a mess. What is going on here? I don't even know. It's, yeah, there we go. Fixed it. Boom. A little handyman bow right here. I, I've been, uh, I wanted to show, before we started this trip, I wanted to show you all. Look at this fantastic handiwork. That is, uh, you can't really tell. That's a uh, venison and chorizo taco. It is delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, not the buttons. The buttons are, are, are broken, evidently. I don't know. Maybe I just need to open it. Here, let's try it. Before we get too carried away. Hey, the buttons are back. Good deal. Okay, top notch, everyone. Well, like uh, the like the, tr the title says today, we're going after monsters. Monster fish. 
uh, whether that be a giant white white striped I guess striped bass not white bass so they don't get that big um, giant striped bass big old blue catfish flathead catfish that's that's what we're going for today um, and anything else we find I'm I'm going for it more Bassmaster fishing 2022 Boombastas, that's what we're playing today, man. You must be so excited. Who's all in the chat, though? Kion Sanders or is it Keon? I'm going with Kion Sands. Uh, Kion Sands, uh, Keon Sands, Taven States, Taya, Caden Dickinson, Go to Salmon, Sad, Sad Vibes. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Pinguino plays Troy Granger, CMS the God, VR Man, uh, Alpha 19 Gaming, Yak Sauce. Not the buttons, Brayden Callahan, CML, Troy Granger, Emily, Emily Reyes, a good deal. Uh, Boombastas, of course. The man's in the chat, fishing with JJ, Brennan Pagenkopf. Hello, hello. Manly Boards, Nicholas Graham, I am Angelus, Ang Angelus, I am Gillis. I don't know, someone. Something like that. You'll have to you'll have to let me know how to say it correctly, bro. I I am excited for today though. I'm ready to go after some big fish. I know that Toledo Bend, we definitely saw some blue catfish, and I am ready. I am ready to catch them finally. So let's let's go to Toledo Bend and we're going to try to get some of these dudes by George. Weather, time of day. Can we actually select the time of day? It's like every time we can select stinks. Every time we can select is bad. Let's go with this one. Let's go 17. Fish in the evening. No way they make this free. Probably not. No. Um, it is free with uh, Xbox Game Pass, I do believe. If you want to get, uh, if you have Xbox Game Pass, I believe it's it's already available. Go for the catfish. Get some big stripers. I'm assuming we'll be able to do both. Ugh. Mm. Big manly bite right there. I'm trying to finish it off as soon as possible. Don't stare at me eating. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna turn it down. I think I'm just gonna turn down the whole thing because there's really not much in the game that's like that needed. Am I right? Is it F is it special effects? I think that was it. Now I missed my fishing spot. Oh jeez. Come on, he nail. Make a sharp return. The boat engine is pretty annoying to you. I agree. I couldn't agree more. Oh, it didn't even save. No wonder we didn't notice the difference. There, that's better. All right. There's got to be some catfish in here. We're gonna switch over to, uh, oh golly. One of these has, one of these has some heavy line on it. That one's got 20 pound line. Let's do that. And we'll put the, uh, the ginormo, the gi ginormo lure. Where is that? It doesn't keep track of our ginormo lures for us. Psh, dumb. Jankalistic swim bait looks pretty cool. I want to try that. That looks cool. Well, I 
haven't been selecting it at the moment. There we go. Look at that thing. It just looks cool. I just bought it because it looked cool. Not I. Uh. There's a jabber jaw. Do we get that too? Getting that too. <clears throat> I guess you can't use this. That seems so strange. This is the deal. There we go. We just had to equip a different thing. But, uh, okay, we're using it. Should this be our, um, uh, our big time catfish reel? <laughs> Let's do that. Let's, we'll, we'll make this our big time catfish reel. Put on the $8,000 50 pound line. All right, let's try this out. Oh, did it not even put it on? There we go. Now we're good. Big block in the house. Alicia Rice says the Everglades videos help you. Well, good deal. Glad they did. Go for catfish. What's your favorite fish to catch? Oh, golly. Carp, probably. I love carp. I think they're so much fun. And they all look so different. You can, like, literally take a picture of a carp and say, it's missing one scale on its left side. And if someone else catches a carp in the same body of water, in the same area, and it's missing one scale on that, you know, in the same spot, and it weighs 15 pounds, or whatever it was when you caught it, or maybe a little bit more because it's grown a little bit, like, it's most likely the same fish. And you can't really do that with many other fish. And I think that's amazing. It's one thing that carp have over lots of other fish, and I, I think it's awesome. I love your videos. I watch them every night before I sleep. This is my first stream, and I'm very excited. Manly Boar is right on, man. You're not alone. Uh, many a person has told me over time that, uh, oh, you stupid. That, uh, they, they watch me before going to bed, <laughs> which I think is fun. I remember my wife and I used to watch PewDiePie all the time growing up as we were dating and whatnot. Oh man, it stunk straight to the bottom. Dragging it along the bottom, catfish. Oh, there's a flathead. Come on, flathead. I'm, uh, I'm assuming we need to, uh, probably need to get a lighter, lighter, uh, sinker, because this one's a little heavy. And, uh, even when they went down to grab it, they missed it, so. <laughs> I learned from fishing, go towards the edges. Yes, I agree, the edges are great. Oh, crappie just, or what was that? I don't even know what that was. Oh, we just got a, uh, I'm honestly trying to remember how to play while I'm doing this. Doesn't bother you? Well, thank you, stupid, stupid Cupid, civic kid. I don't know why I went with Cupid, but yeah. <clears throat> well, that solidifies the boars aren't like fishing planet. Yeah. I'd agree. I think this is just a little striped bass. Probably increase the drag since uh, now dealing with a with seven pound line anymore. Big logs, true boats on fishing plan just take off on land. I agree. Yeah. Oh, the boats aren't like fishing plan. Yes, agreed. No one plays, how's it going? Go for musky, ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, we'll have to do that. I agree. I agree, we have a lot of stuff we can go for. How are you liking this game so far? Cole Starkey, I think it's a fun little game. You know, is it is it Fishing Planet or, or something like that, that, you know, come on, bro, come on, that, uh, you know, has an extreme leveling process that you, you know, even to get even close to the end of the game, you have to kind of play it for a year or something like that. 
Um, no, it's not. You know, you can, you can, you can spend a, a month or two and kind of play, or you know, depending upon how much you play it, I guess. Um, play through a lot of the campaign, get all the cool brands on your uh, sponsors on your your tournament jacket or shirt or whatever, and uh, and just kind of keep on keep on going, but. Fishing Planet or this? Oh, hard, hard to say. Hard to say and contractually difficult to say. <laughs> First time catching a stream, loving the vids, keep up with the amazing work. So, thank you so much, man. Come on, bro. Dumb catfish. Think it'll, dude, that dude is massive. I'm thinking we just need to get off the bottom. We need to change this. We're using a, a quarter ounce right now. Pretty heavy. I mean, it's not in the world of sinkers and stuff, but... Not very heavy at all. So we have one eighth. We could try one eighth, or we could just try something else entirely. Or we could just throw no weight. Oh, have to throw weight. Dumb. Okay. Drop shot might work, eh? It kind of has like the drop sound and then it's kind of hanging up here or something. That might work, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. <clears throat> Busy night at work, oh my gosh. First uh Oh, it's not working like I thought it would. Never mind. I was not picturing this, but we got a bass, I guess. <laughs> Is there an area you can catch a map? Map. Back at it again. Nice to know you, Ben the Bow Kilo Knight. Well, thank you, man. If you do a college series tournament, you can win 10,000 for getting first place. You know, I don't know if you notice how much money I have, but, uh,. Part of the thing I did with Dove Hill what Games was that. What do you got? This announcer, dude. Um, was that, you know, I'm playing these other content creators, uh, Blitz, Spencer TV, some other people, um, and I had to do the first two rounds of the college series. So if I, I've already done two of the college series, um, did videos over. I'm not doing any more just in case I end up having to do more through them. Um, but. That's why I'm doing so far, so. H Y, so I can't really watch much, still can, what a good amount of it. Well, good deal. That works, man. Man, I'm not sure. This isn't what we need either. 260 pound bull shark, new PV, right on it. That's awesome. Oh, Gar's going for it. Come on, Gar. Gar was going for it and we literally pulled it out. Hold it out so that he couldn't get it. Okay, here we go. Throw it further this time. Favorite fish to eat? Oh, good question. Walleye, probably. Or uh, salmon's usually my go-to, I suppose. I usually always say that salmon's, which which seems, I feel like some people forget that like salmon's a fish you can catch if you live in the lower 48 um, or something like that, or not close to Canada or something. And you don't really have salmon as an option. Um, kind of forget that it is a really good fish to eat. <laughs> and if I had salmon in Kansas, by George, I'd be going after him like crazy. But uh, they did stock the uh, lake, the, one of the lakes in the city with uh, trout, rainbow trout. So uh, I have all my rods uh, ready and I'm ready to do some trout fishing, maybe, I guess not this weekend, but uh, 
because this weekend's my anniversary weekend. No big deal, I'm sure, you know. Uh, <clears throat> no, it's gonna be really fun. Look at that, there we go. A little a long nose, I think. There we go, 15 pound long nose gar. I guess that's kind of a, kind of a monster of some sort, eh? Kind of works. <laughs> it's got teeth. <laughs> Good deal. A fishing planet video for koi. They don't have koi in the game. They have ghost carb, which are close. Half koi, anyway. I haven't tuned into a stream in a while. I ain't jealous. Well, appreciate you being here big time, man. God, the gar are going after this like crazy, dude. I'm thinking because they're flathead over there, we need to switch to a shad. They said that the shad liked the flathead. Or the opposite, flathead liked the shad. Love this game, well, right on. Number four for pounds, Troy Granger, right on, dude. Oh, and of course the white bass immediately goes for it. Stupid! This was for the catfish. Ding! Love the vids, man. Well, thank you, Banalis. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, I have to get my, uh... Big block! Dude, what are you doing? Super chat. I don't, I don't know, Big Block. Holy goodness gracious. Thank you so much, dude. I'm waiting for it to pop up. Any any moment now. Anything? No? Evidently not. Okay. Kinda strange. <laughs> I'll just, I'll make the noise with my mouth. Here, chicky. Boom, 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 boom. Boeing in the house. I don't know why it's not doing the animation for you. Gosh dang it, dude. You're so close to getting catfish. Wouldn't let me donate 50 through Super Chat. Well, dude, thank you so much. I don't know why the animation didn't play for you. It's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating to me. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, dang it. Dang it. I got it. We're good now. Well, appreciate it, Big Block. I'm sorry I didn't have that one thing on. Ugh. But uh, I really appreciate it, dude. How's the game feel compared to Fishing Planet? It feels faster. Feels faster. Um, I don't think people will be looking up how to do things like they do in Fishing Planet. You know, in Fishing Planet, you kind of look up, you know, how do I make money at so-and-so lake or, you know, um, how do I put rods together? You know, I don't think anyone's going to have any questions like that playing a game like this. Um, and that's okay. I don't know what we have, but I'm assuming it's small. <clears throat> I don't think so, Brandon. Similar names, though. Sebastian Acosta made it. Good deal. Glad to see it. I don't know why these are... Oh, this is another Gar. This is Gar, man. I think it's another Gar, anyway. Oh my god. So they have windowed mode and they have um they have a windowed borderless mode, which in computer talk if you if you're a console person, it means that in windowed mode you have a perfect window and you can't go outside of the window. And in windowed borderless mode, your cursor can go outside the window and you can just you can play the game and then you can click over and do something on the side or something like that. I feel like that guard is like the same size as the last one. Um, but there's no difference in this game. 
They're the exact same. They're they're both borderless. And so my cursor goes outside the window all the time and starts clicking on stuff, opening Spotify and yeah, it's really annoying. God. We're getting everything but a catfish right now. <clears throat> So super chat hit the like button if you enjoy the stream well you did you did just fine big block thank you so much dude you you did enough for me bro what did you miss shiny eevee you didn't miss a whole lot we are trying to catch big fish but instead catching bass not gonna Six. set any records with that one Thanks, but at bro. least it's a good, solid keeper. Yeah, no, 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 it's okay. You've said enough. Um. Hold on. Oh, that's a catfish. Blake 2009, how's it going? Are you done playing Fishing Planet? No, we are not done playing Fishing Planet. This game just came out though, so we're playing it. And uh, the company asked me to play some of it. Oh, I thought it was a catfish. Not gonna set any records with that one, but at least it's a good solid keeper. I think the game's confused. <clears throat> we definitely had a catfish on there. It's just while we were fighting it, it stripped away its whiskers and made it look like a bass for some reason. I don't know why. All right, if we keep catching these dang other fish with this, then we're gonna have to change it up even more. Come on, catfish. What's my biggest fish in real life? Uh, biggest fish in real life. Ooh, that's a catfish. Watch, it's gonna be another bass. Um, biggest fish in real life is my 43-inch red drum that I caught in Florida this past summer with my brother. Which you've probably seen the video of. Just joined. Well, thanks, Top Gear Gaming. Um, if, you, uh, if you're subscribed to the uh, Modern Day Outdoorsman channel, then you've probably watched the Florida video and me catching that giant fish. If not, then you should definitely check it out. Here we go. My first fly, oh, this, uh, my second flathead. Look at this white tail. What's up with that? Seven pound flathead catfish. My guy's hunched over weird, like Igor. Hello, Asta. I've caught the flathead, the Franken flat. Good deal. Well, at least the catfish are going after it. I want the really big one, though. <clears throat> Is there no bait fishing in this game? No, there's not. Only lures. Nope, don't go for a bass. Don't. Oh, that was a flathead. Oh. Another gar. Still want it? You still want it? Nope. Okay, that big flathead is over here now. Blake 2009, great question. I uh, I con contractually cannot answer that till next week. So I'll let you know next week after I play it more. Should you get the game? You know, Cooler Cactus, if you're uh, a big time fishing person, you love playing, you know, you think about it, Fishing Planet has like no campaign. You just kind of fish. I'm not gonna set um, any records with that one. Whereas this game has a like a campaign you play. You know, you play all the tournaments, you get, you know, to be the top tournament guy where you've won them all and you're the best and you have the best boat in the game and or the most expensive one and you have all the best rods and stuff like that. Um, through the tournaments and stuff, you know, that's that's an easy way to make money and unlock that sort of stuff. Um, whereas in Fishing Planet, you know, you just kind of play. So, 
Um, so if you're into that sort of thing, that sounds fun. You know, you wanna you wanna see yourself as the top tournament guy, and you wanna buy the best boat and immediately hooked onto something here. Fish lost. Okay, top notch, and immediately caught something else. No trouble top gear. That's a bass. Gosh dang, in a game like a game with this name, I wouldn't have thought I'd catch so many bass. What's the biggest fish in this game? Great question. I'm not entirely sure. I would think like a uh, big old catfish or something like that. But uh we see him in there, we just can't catch him. The other fish keep going for the bait. The lure, I guess. Should you try to go to a different spot? Well, that's the thing, is that they're here. We can see them. Oh, bro, that's the big fish I want right there. Gosh dang it. This is gonna be a big bass, but... But it's not the fish I wanted. Not the fish I wanted. Caught a few bass in the heron, good deal. That's a great place to catch bass, that's for sure. What's going on, little bottle cap? Oh yeah. Yeah, I recently got a new uh, new shotgun with uh, with all, of, all of your help, hopefully we'll have some, uh, at have least it's a good, solid keeper. Fancy little GoPro holder for, uh, the barrel. That way we can go on a, a duck hunt this, uh, this Thursday and a pheasant hunt later in the season. So hopefully get some, uh, videos of that sort of stuff as well, which I'm excited about. All right, I'm thinking we need to change this up. The shad's not working. We are catching stuff, just not big enough stuff. Drop shot rig, that's a one aught. Maybe we need to up the hook size and then I'll keep some of the smaller fish going for it. I'm gonna put on a five aught hook here and hope that that does it. Also gonna put the booty shaker back on. All right, catfish. Biggest fish in the game? Not. I think it's a striped bass, actually. Come on, catfish, bro. It's right there. He didn't even move. Literally drug it right in front of his face. I'm starting to think this guy's a decoy fish. Just to sit here and waste your time. Oh, got a gar. Sixty-nine pound flathead, bro. Very nice. Love to try it out, yeah. Alexander Crawford, how's it going? Your first time in the stream, scientist man, what's going on? Well, glad you're here, scientist man. I always love science, so fantastic. On this game, you don't have to worry about repairing your gear. There, there you go, very true. Try a shallow crankbait, eh, okay. There's so many bass around here, which I say that even though I've caught many a bass. 15 pounds, 11 ounce. Oh my God, same as the other three. Same as, I guess it would be two. Caught three overall. Uh, you're playing American Truck Simulator, eh? Is that a fun game? You enjoying that?
Gosh dang it, bro. Big block. Big block. I think you're bringing in the gar, bro. Makes you happy. <laughs> well, I need to go hang out with you, man. I want to go catch some more gar. Uh, does it have bait fishing? It has bait fishing, but not not real bait fishing. They like they took the carp fishing aspect and like basically said, oh, but you can catch other things like catfish on this stuff too. But they don't really have like any, like they don't have any like fish to use as bait or like cut bait or anything like that. You're just supposed to use like worms and other uh, artificial stuff. It's just, it's kind of weird. I don't know. That's your best to catch. Oh, flathead, you just went for it, bro, and I pulled it out. I didn't know what you were. Every time I see a fish going for something, I freak out. Ooh, ooh, bro, bro. Oh my god, what is this? The most inaccurate flathead in the world. I don't even know what's going on with my with my rod right now. I'm just I'm supposed to be moving it up and down, but instead he just like, like what is go what is going on? I don't. <laughs> it's just jolting forward every time. I don't know what's going on. What should we try? Should we try jig head? Should we try the drop drop shot rig again? Here's a 5 aught drop shot. Try that. Come on, big catfish. Favorite fish in the game? You know, I don't know. There's a lot of fish in the game. I've only caught like four of them, so I honestly do not know. I haven't played enough. It's like asking someone who's level 10 in Fishing Planet, hey, what's your favorite fish in the game? No, I don't know. You should go after Chinook in this game. I've fished for hours and only caught one. Oh. Well, that's kind of the reason I'm fishing for catfish, because I've played this game for four or five hours now and I've only caught two catfish. And even now when I'm trying to catch them, I'm only catching Gar. Which Big Block likes, so that's fine. Come on and we will go? Okay. One of these days, I'm gonna take a trip to the East Coast. That way I can go see David Probus. And I'll, and I'll stop and we'll go fishing, Big Block. Searching how to catch wall and end up watching every vid. But now it's, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. 15 pounds, 11 ounces. Who would have guessed? <clears throat> Lines to catch Gator Guard. Just put a cut in the drum. Huge bobber and let it float. Well, that's what I need to do for these catfish, I think. Bro. It's, it's terrible because I cannot keep it. I can't keep it up where the fish are. All of the, all of the things for this lure are so heavy that I can't keep it up off the bottom. Oh, flathead! Just got a 14 pound rainbow. Very nice, Junior. <laughs> Cats have very small eyes. Well, I had to. For their body, goodness gracious. All the cats you catch are on the shad thing. 
See, I switched to the Shad, but then we were only catching, like, Gar. Only Gar were going after it. Maybe we need to switch to uh, that Bluegill. I doubt it, because I feel like everything's going to go for it. I feel like this is the best thing to go with. Unless there's something bigger. That one's seven inches. The Tremor Shad. This lure is eight inches long, though. You would think that only big fish would go for it. It's like the cats are blind. I think so. Oh! I think that was a catfish. It just drags on the ground, and then before you know it, a fish takes it, and I don't know. Come to Illinois, it's horrible. Fish King Outdoors. I don't know why I, I say I want to catch a big catfish, and then people come in and say, go musky fishing. Guys, I don't understand what you don't understand about when I have a mission, when I have a mission, I don't stop until I see it completed, okay? You don't go out and go, I'm gonna join the football team, and then halfway through the season go, I'm gonna go play basketball. You, you don't. You, you stick with it, and you play football. Or you catch a big flathead catfish, or, or a blue, because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to catch a big catfish, so don't ask me to go musky fishing, because I'm not going to until we catch a big catfish. Use a crawfish, eh? Uh, like, what? what's going on here? I don't even know. Bro, I'm so sick of this. This lure's not working. It doesn't work. I don't get the the, the weight thing. I, this, what is, what are what is what what is going on right now? Do we need to try a jig head? Let's just try a jig head. Maybe that's the easiest thing to do. Let's try a jig head. That way we don't have to worry about weights and stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how high it is now. Look at all those fish. Oh, look at that blue. That blue is slowly drifting over. Oh, <laughs> of course we catch a gar. <laughs> a little bit in the catfish like lift and drop. They like the lift and drop, eh? It's just the game. It's not just the game. You know, the game doesn't have a chat. I'm reading the chat. If it was just the game, if it was just the game, then I would just be playing the game. Because I haven't seen a single blue. Try for a blue cat or a flathead. Emily, fantastic idea. I think because Emily said it, I'm going to try to catch a catfish now. I hate that every time we catch a gar, it's the same size. Mix it up. Goodness gracious. All right, catfish. I want you to wake up and go after this lure. It's right in front of your face. Grab it. This is another little flathead I'm killing. I'm telling you. Favorite spot to fish in real life? You think you think I'm just gonna lay that on you? Think I'm gonna lay that on my my favorite? I'm just gonna tell you? Oh yeah, go to coordinates so and so. Not. Then everyone would be fishing there. Goodness gracious. 
No. I have a few spots I like to fish here in Kansas City. Every time I catch a gar, you want to take off work? I better stop catching gars then or else your workplace is going to get mad at me. Henry Thomas, how's it going? Come on, catfish. Catfish. Stupid. Oh my god, there was a catfish going forward at the end. Two five pound rainbow trout in real life? Bro, that's awesome. I need to get out and go catch the stocked rainbow trout in our lake. What was that about? I swear I got fish slapped. Oh, who's ready to catch another 15 pound 11 ounce gar? Raise your hand. Who's ready? Do we want to put a bet on it? Put a bet on it. If this gar is not 15 pounds 11 ounces, I'm gonna go musky fishing. <laughs> They are all in a ball, it seems, everywhere. <laughs> you know, you think that. You think it's going to be like that. So in a tournament, you come here. And, uh, and then you think, oh, they're going to be right here. And then it ends up not being it. Wow, 15 pounds, 11 ounces. Who would have guessed? <sighs> That's crazy, man. They must get stocked at exactly that. All the gar in this lake gets stocked out of 15 pounds, 11 ounces. And then they don't eat anything. Come on, big catfish. Gar are gonna go for it. It's a big bass. Oh, there's a couple of big bass. Not that I'm fishing for bass. All right, I'm switching it up again. Let's go with the shad. We got the five out hook on, so it's only for big fish. Hopefully. Oh, there's a channel cat. You want it, fish? Lazy. let it sink right in front of this blue. Hey, blue. You want this tasty shad here? Oh, caught another gar. Ah! Uh, bro. Stop and go, stop and go. You think that's it? You think that's why I'm missing? I'm missing the stop and go. Except blue and channels. Probably because the blue and the channel cat are so lazy. 15 pounds, 11 ounces. We, we, we want to put a bet on it again. their hand all raise their hand all right I'm getting this one more cast and then we're going somewhere else we don't tempt one of these dang catfish to move their freaking tail and go after this dang shad oh my gosh big block is just losing his mind right now Least favorite spot to fish in real life. My backyard. Absolutely no water. It's horrible. I've never caught anything. If I put a little dog treat on the end of a... Uh, on some line, though, I'll catch a dog. One of my dogs. I don't use hooks, though. Don't want to use hooks, but, uh... If you put a bone on the end of the line, you know, they won't let go. So then, then you really catch them. Don't even need a hook at that point. Hey! All right, 
Alright, we're leaving. I'm trying to think of another good place for catfish. I think it's quieter, isn't it? Do you think so? We lowered it to 40. Let's try uh, 20. There you go. Now it's a manageable noise. I think I remember seeing catfish over here. What's this about? Henry Thomas, 2114, my goodness gracious. I see crappie. Okay, are you gonna reel or what? What are you even doing, bro? Dude can't even reel right now. Here's a grouper. We don't have grouper in Kansas, unfortunately. I like fishing for carp. If you fish for carp, you end up catching catfish too, so. But if you fish for catfish, then you have a lower chance of catching a carp. You can still catch them on worms and whatnot. But. I enjoy it. I think it's fun. Think there's any catfish over here? Oh, you are a bunch of baloney. Oh, there you go. We need to go for, for shallow water. Obviously. Okay, we're gonna go back into one of these little fingers over here. Maybe there's... Maybe there's something hiding over here. Those big blocks said they hide in shallow spots at night. So maybe they're hiding in like a spot like this. You know, I've caught striped bass. I can't recall actually like knowingly eating them though. I remember, you know, filleting them and stuff like that, but I don't remember eating. But that was more when I was like a kid, so. They would troll for uh, bass and we would just reel them in. So I don't, I mean, I, I might have eaten them, but I don't remember it. See, now this thing doesn't sink fast enough. You can't see anything that's on the bottom. Least favorite animal? What the? Mosquito. I hate mosquitoes. Least favorite animal. I wouldn't think striped bass would be bad. <laughs> okay. Is there a heavier 5 aught jig head? There is. Okay. gets cooked together <laughs> just a big old just a big old mash <laughs> sounds good I'm fine with that this is stop and go I can't see anything I don't know, I don't know. switching to morning 14 ounce driver and real life are in the game <laughs> how green the water is goodness gracious it's like Hulk just you know went to the bathroom or something Well, the stripers are pretty easy to catch. Okay. I'm 
I'm gonna give this one last shot. If we don't catch one. By George, I don't know. Hulk had to pee, I agree. catfish there we go is he bigger though that's the question he's pulling out line you can he's got to be a little bit bigger if anything finally got a flathead that's bigger than the ones we've been catching <laughs> you bet this isn't 15 pounds i bet i bet not yeah i hope not anyway big fatty bigger at least that's for sure we got the drag on 40 right now i don't know what that means but we got it on 40 What's my strategy for Sturgeon at Lake Croy? St. Croy? Um, just throw out a crawfish maybe and just cross your fingers. Uh, of the three or four times I've fished for Sturgeon, I've only caught them once. The Sturgeon are an absolute pain to fish for at St. Croy. And some people will swear that they like have they, they they know how to catch them. Oh, dude, look at this monster! Let's go, bro! Got him! Fifty-three pound, five ounce flathead. Everyone can go home. We did. We did it. Let's wrap it up. This one's finished. <laughs> That's fantastic. We caught him. He's ours. He's gray. I don't know why he's gray. All right. Let's, um... Ugh. Said the blues. Go after the booty shaker. Let's try the booty shaker again, because there is that, that one big blue was sitting there. Eleven foot float rod, eh? Oh, look at him! Oh, <gasps> bro, dude, he was going for it. Oh, 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 oh! No, come on, bro, dude! <laughs> Come on, come on, grab it. Grab it, dude. It's just the big blue fish swimming over here. You don't grab it, you're gonna miss out on it. Okay, jig heads, I just have to know. Jig heads are the way to go with the catfish. Specifically, I'm using a four, I'm using a four ounce, five odd hook right now. Is satisfying when you finally catch one. I can, uh, I agree. Come on, big blue. They all see big blue. Constant. Oh, I think that was a flathead. Why does my guy keep every time you switch lures, you reset your drag? It's so annoying. Oh, this dude's so small. This dude's so small. Cathedon boy, Cathedon, four pounder, fantastic. Shining method on the pontoon of the boat dock, about 60 foot, get caught like five surge in 30 minutes, but like 15 blue cats, okay. Well, yeah, maybe that's the way to do it then. I've never tried that. 54 pounder on the blue. Oh, look at that big fish, dude. 
No, uh, small little flathead. Uh, Come on now. Big blue. Big blue. It's a pretty big bass right there though. No. I'd rather not catch you than anything at all. All in favor of the nine pound. Tarpon in your top five faves? I think so. I think Tarpon are pretty fun. Love your vids. Well, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. It's like the fish swim away from it. <gasps> Did you see that giant freaking catfish going for it and then it just turned around and didn't go for it? Oh, that's a big flathead, too. Come here, bro. Come on. Come on back. I feel like a shopkeeper. An old western shopkeep- Oh, someone was going for it at the end there. Come on back! They just keep spawning in and despawning rapidly. Didn't exactly look like a four pounder, but I don't know how big he is. Could be. Yep, unfortunately. Eight pounder. 18 inch bass will ride on, dude. Very nice. Oh, in real life, too. Great. That's awesome. Come on, Big Blue. Move your butt. Move that tail of you. What is this lure doing? That uh, flathead just a whiff. Missed it. Another four pounder here. Good deal. Getting the monsters. Kind of gets me in the mood. Right on, Henry Thomas. Glad to hear it, dude. Another eight pounder. I want to throw one out here just to see what happens. Opening up Spotify. Fantastic. Love it. Thank you so much. Definitely need Spotify open right now. Freaking hate it. Freaking hate it. If you're going to make a windowed mode, make it windowed mode. What's my favorite fishing game? Uh, hard to say. I like I like a couple different fishing games, and I go in between because sometimes I get bored of one, and I'll switch to another one. What do I think of it? I think it's fun, fast-paced game. It's not. You know, you don't feel like you have to grind other than what I'm doing right now. You don't feel like you have to grind to go anywhere. You know, if you want to go somewhere, you just click on it and go there. Um, there's a kind of a campaign mode sort of thing where you can uh, go against other bass anglers and, you know, make money and buy the best boats and all that sort of stuff. Why do you ruin it? You don't you don't reel. You don't reel and then you jolt it forward like eight feet past all the fish. Just ruins it. 104 pound black drum. Wow, geez Louise, man. That's a big one. Come on, blue. Oh cool. Yep. Just jerked it past all the fish again. Neato Frito. Yep, they're all the way back there, but you 
Just moved it past all of them in one freaking swoop. <sighs> We're never gonna get these blues. He's just not, he's not even reeling it. Like I'm like, I'm holding the mouse button right now. Like move. Now the blues aren't even there. What can you do? What can you do? What will you do for a blue catfish? Thirty-four inch musky in real life? That's awesome. I don't even we don't even have muskies in Kansas, so someday I'll have to go for a musky. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Little tiny flathead catfish. Again. Nope. Don't want you. I don't want you in my life. Can't you see I don't want you anymore? 15 pound flathead. Did you catch it in the heron? All right, I'm giving up. We're not gonna catch him here. Let's go somewhere else. Big catch though, we did get that big flat-headed catfish. That was awesome. Let's see here. There are blue catfish here. <sighs> where, uh, where do we get like a uh, muskie and stuff? I don't even know. Lake Roberts doesn't look like it. Hamilton, that kind of sounds like a place that would have musky and stuff. It has rainbow trout. I don't know why the name Hamilton reminds me of that. St. Louis, oh, 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 there we go. Let's go fish the St. Lawrence River. They got some stuff. Yeah, they got stuff here. You gotta use a uh, jointed stuff, eh? Oh, a suspending wally diver. All right, that's where we're going. Oh, I just clicked out of it. Yeah, here we go. This is where we're going. Let's go. One thing I could have brought in the fishing planet. Hard to say, man. Um, I just, I'm just gonna see what's right in front of us. Um, there's a lot of stuff I want in Fishing Planet. So I'm not sure. We're gonna switch to no weight so that we can use lures on this rod. And there was one of the, th this one they said it was good. We're gonna get that one. And they said that. There it is. This one was good for musky. Now we're prepared. So there's big fish on the radar right now. So I'm just gonna go. There's trout over there. Something. Musky at the dock. <laughs> yeah, probably not, but. There were fish showing up on the radar, so I figured I'd give it a shot. About right next to this little uh, bridge over here. There's always stuff in the bridges. Everyone knows that. Will we hit the bridge? It's such a 
just smooth lure. Oh, we got snagged. Perfect. What place should you go after Everglades? EESS, man. What's what's after Everglades? In the EESS. Oh, there's fish. Gosh dang it. Opening up Photoshop now. Thanks, thanks, bro. That looks like a muskie. Or tiger muskie or something. I'm gonna scoot up ever so slightly. Hit the bridge. No? Okay, we went right through the bridge. There's a brown trout. <laughs> that, uh, I think that bass is dead. That bass was dead. He was, he was dead. You got a al albino spring bog. That's awesome. This is a nice sized little brown here. Need more saltwater fishing and fishing plan? That would be cool. I'd love to see an African map. I think it would be really cool to uh, have like Nile perch and um, and uh, and like tiger fish, and Goliath tiger fish. I think that would be super cool. But I think more than anything, I think what I'd honestly want is a uh, a trophy lodge that shows off all your fish that you've caught. I feel like I would be more into catching the biggest fish of every species if all of them were represented in some way. You know? Look at that dude. That's awesome. 16 pound brown trout, not bad at all. Lungfish, eh? Yeah, I think the ocean fish is just kind of hard to do with kind of uh, just the, the vastness of, of, of ocean, you know? It's a big map if you really want to capture it. Yeah, it was. And there's nothing on the right side. Casting on the right side is just a waste of time. Everything's on the left side. We got Brown just waiting down there. Oh, he's coming for it. No, no. <laughs> I never thought I'd be annoyed by a brown trout. Swordfish and all the different sharks. It would be awesome. It would be awesome. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Well then, fish the places you can fish, Caden. I don't, I don't know, man. If you can't go to the next letter in the acronym, then just fish where you can fish. Yeah. And maybe you have something like St. Croix, you know, like something you'd see on the coast where you kind of have that big rocky pier that goes out and people can kind of fish but to get the most out of it you kind of need to uh have the boat and do that sort of thing you know it might not be a bad way to go about it but i think we need to move somewhere else where do you think the muskie are gonna be kind of around a point you think probably not oh there are big fish showing up on the radar here i don't know where they are I guess there is a point right here. <sighs> Freak a frack, dude. Yeah. Equipment turn in day. Oh no. Football season's over. Football god.
this uh this water is beautifully dark and brown and then this lure is is a rainbow of color lots of fish showing up on the radar i don't know where they are maybe they're along this concrete wall here really shallow in here or maybe they're just behind us we went over top of them now it's fishing god <laughs> a sponsored tournament and fishing planet and streamed it maybe I don't know I'm not a big tournament person I don't know if you noticed this, but I, d I don't really play many multiplayer things, and it's just honestly because I just don't enjoy it. I don't I don't find it fun. I know a lot of people do, but I'm just not one of those people. Top of Gear Gaming's got to go in five minutes. Sounds good. Absolutely. Might be musky out by this point here. So every every place that seems like a good point for me to fish at ends up being bad for the most part. It's a great idea in theory, but when I try fishing there in the game, there's just nothing there usually. Oh, bluegill. <sighs> Wrestling season starts in two weeks. We're right on. Sounds fun. That was one of the uh, two sports I never played. Wrestling and basketball. Wade Alvey. Thank you so much, dude. I love everybody. ELE. Everybody love everybody. That's my rule. I carry it. I carry it through. The BZ Hub. ELE. Dave. See what I mean? I think a spot like that's gonna do great. And then I get there. And there's nothing there. Big fish showing up on the radar there. You played football? Of course I played football, bro. I played six sports in high school. Diving deep enough, I feel. Let's see. You'd think with that freaking face on it, it says dives 10 to 12 feet. Doesn't feel like it, does it? Diving crankbait. This is 15 to 18. Maybe we'll just try this just so we can see what's around. What's up, Blake? Going hunting in a few days? We'll crew right on, that's awesome. Oh, grass, cool. I love how we switch to a lure that dives deeper and we immediately get into shallow areas. Okay, 
Well, maybe this is where the fish are. They're over there. In that shallow area. By the island in the middle of the river. Okay, let me try that area. Bro, you are not snagged. You are not snagged. You weren't even close to any grass. Yeah, a little inlet where it curves. I honestly hate it when the game zooms in like this. I found it really annoying. Fish on, fish on indeed. I guess we did catch a fish, which seems better for the last 10 minutes of us searching for a place to fish. Epic Buckeye Gamer, how's it going? It's, uh, well, it's going pretty well, I suppose. And I'm doing well, thanks for asking. That's for sure. Tiger Muscle Lunge. Not too shabby, bro. We are looking rightly. Jeez, a wheezes. Rightly, uh, pretty casual right now, aren't we? Sorry I wasn't here on Wednesday, but that's how. But how's it going? It's it's going well, Taven. Thanks, thanks, man. No big deal, bro. Favorite time to fish? Morning. I like fishing in the morning. Do you think this game is better than Fishing Sim World Pro Tour? I don't know. Good question. I like how you can fish for all sorts of stuff in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Um, but, uh, but I do like the underwater camera, which you can't get in that game. I think it's kind of fun to see all the fish down there. Even if it makes it unrealistic, I think it's just kind of fun. Look at that trout hanging out. I think he's dead. Oh, no, he's good. He's swimming off. He's gonna make a full recovery, guys. It's gonna be okay. He's gonna make it. We didn't think he was gonna make it, but he's gonna make it, so don't worry about it. We're gonna switch back to that, uh, there we go. That one right there. Musky. There he goes. Is there walleye in this game? There are walleye in the game, yeah. Eight pound bass and fishing planet. Very cool, dude. Nice little trophy. You're an adult and you're still watching YouTube. I I am an adult and I'm still playing games and putting them on YouTube, so. I think that's just part of being a modern day outdoorsman. I wanna hit it hard, I agree. He's fighting too, these these muskies are fighting. I dig it, I think it's, I think it's cool. 
Little tiny thing, but we got him. 16 pounds on the spot. In sync pump key. Bro, I remember everyone. Anyone who's ever showed up. Old brown over there. That brown trout did not like what we had on. Whoa, look at that. That's a different fish. A little Chinook. Is that it? Or what is this thing? We should do a fishing tournament against each other. You know, we actually talked about uh, next summer slash spring, whatever we get to it. We did talk about doing a multi-species fishing thing where we would have a day where we would... We need to get two GoPros is the thing. But we're going to have a day where we kind of just go out and catch as many species as we can um, against each other. And whoever catches the most as well as like... The biggest fish of those species tally up the points at the end see who wins brush your teeth and go to bed well top gear it was good to have you man but yeah those are important things bedtime and brushing teeth are important right on what should you do uh, start recording and pick a game that's difficult Coho salmon, not a Chinook. I should have known it wasn't a Chinook, but my mind was blanking and I couldn't think of any other salmon. <laughs> so I just stuck with my guns. 11 pound bass in Everglades. Do you think this game is better than Fishing Planet? Uh, I'll let you know in a week after I play it longer. I haven't played it enough. I can't give an accurate opinion. All of the fish are, are, uh, bro, you are not even close to a snag. Do not tell me it's a snag. Not even close. Not even close. Look at that dude. A lot of the fish are broken over here. What'd you miss, Emily? You missed some muskies? Missed some muskies, missed some, uh, a coho salmon. Here's a walleye. Walleye. Oh, there's a log right there, too. Oh, look at that guy. He's pretty. Kind of just surveying the area at the moment and seeing what what all we have available to us. How much does the game cost? That's a good question. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Forty dollars, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> we got him. We got him. It's over, bro. Give up. Give up. We gotcha. Yep, we gotcha. It's 10? 10 o'clock? Until I get the GoPro? Oh, goodness gracious. Well, thank you, Big Blog. I think you've, I think you've done enough, man. I think you've done enough for us, bro. But I really appreciate all the same. Well, we'll get it by George. I do I do need to get one, but we've got a few more things we need to get. Um, in preparation, I suppose, of other things. But I think it's it's pretty it's it's up there though. Now that I got my new new shotgun for uh, upcoming seasons and whatnot. Um, well, a big old drum there. Um, yeah. Another GoPro is definitely on the docket. Oh. He, uh, he just... 
he hated the way the lure looked so much that he just went to look down. Okie dokie. So you said something about an island in the middle of the of the river? Let's see here. This island here? That little inlet right there might be pretty good. Let's go try that. Yeah, that sounds good, NC. Ultra killer, this game is awesome. Tommy Ferguson with the sub. Thank you so much, Tommy. Is it Tommy or Tommy? $39.99 on Steam. Yeah, makes sense. Sounds about right, man. I think with all this vegetation, there'd be something pretty decent around there, but nothing's showing up on the radar anyway. Too bad, wouldn't think. It's pretty shallow. 98%, that's not bad. Alexander, any good spots around here? Am I totally off right now? This big old tuft of dog fur just like came down out of nowhere. I like watched it go up the side of the wall and it like fell down on the computer. Oh, there's, oh, there we go. Old musky. They're over a little bit over here. Top water and swim baits. Well, it certainly could try that, I'm assuming. Oh, and now a freshwater drum went for it, okay. Oh, certainly, uh, certainly a chance. I guess uh, that is kind of something I should say, though. If you are thinking about getting this game, you could possibly wait till uh, this next weekend. And uh, if, if, if old Bo here uh, pulls off the win against the other content creators, I hear that uh, they might be giving, giving me some game keys to give away to people. So, uh, so yeah, we'll just see how, how good the other content creators do. Hopefully I smoke them. I rub their guts into the ground until they're just paced. And then uh, they'll give me some game keys and I'll, I'll give them away to you fine people. Run into shore and cast around. Oh, okay. There's 17 pound freshwater drum. I don't... I've caught a few drum in my day and they don't look like that. <laughs> That's okay though. <laughs> We're having fun. That's what matters. Alright, look at this. I'm, I'm pegged up like I'm going for, uh, going for ducks or something. Could have sworn I was seeing some splashing over here, so I thought I'd cast over here for one. Nope, not seeing anything. I'm hearing ducks. Mm-hmm. Tyranno King, how's it going, man? Oh, there's King Bjorn barking. There's a bass. He is mad about something. Oi! Yeah, huge crappie drum gar and bass. That's cool. I dig it. Isn't there a map with sturgeon? I don't think so, Emily. Unless you're talking about another game. Uh, 
I'm still looking for a giant musky. I'm looking, I'm, I'm casting around thinking, okay, any one of these moments, I'm gonna see a giant musky. Yeah, stop barking. He's so jealous, he just wants to be part of the stream, so he's barking. Oh, now I notice. My drag's set different, because every time you change something on your rod, or, or drive, or do anything, you reset your drag for some reason. Stupid. Got another one. Northern Pike. I always thought Northern Pike were a little yellow, not so green. Like facial mask green. Remember when we were fishing for musky? I do. I do remember that. I also remember watching the shiners jumping over the boat and landing in the boat because they were being chased by something. And we were throwing that humongous lure. That spin- Bro, you were not any close. You were not close to anything to get snagged in it. <laughs> I just want to play the game. What what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't even know what's happening now. Oh! You gonna reel or what? Are you just gonna sit there? God. Break a frack, bro. There's a big fish over there. He's kind of looking straight up and down at the moment, but... Free bait, Zach. It was free bait. Yeah, we uh, immediately reeled in and put on the fresh shiners before they died. Yeah, that was fun. We didn't catch much of anything. We caught a really big, like, bluegill, I think, on a, uh, on a little spinner. I think that was the only thing we caught that day. We, uh, it was so terrible because we were fishing at these, uh, Missouri public access lakes. And, uh, we went there the night before. And, I mean, I must have casted out, like, three, three, four, five times, Zach? I don't remember. But, uh, in the three to four to five times I casted out, I caught, uh, two bass. Like, right away. Um... And so we thought, oh my god, we are going to absolutely destroy tomorrow. We're going to catch so much bass, we're going to have so much fun. And we went there in the morning, bright and early, bushy-tailed, and, uh, and never caught anything the entire day. Never saw anything, never caught anything. Look at that big musky there. There we go. There we go, bro. This is what we've been looking for. Around this size, anyway. I'd like it to get bigger, but I don't know how much how much bigger. Uh, obviously, they get bigger because there's a legendary size. Alpha 19, take care, man. You don't want to go to school tomorrow, Buckeye? Well, that's no fun. I used to love school. I thought school. I like going to see, seeing all my friends, playing sports. Going to school and then coming home to play more video games. <laughs> Take it easy. Hey, Big Block, thank you so much for being here, bro. Really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time, I hope. <laughs> hope you don't get bored of us. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Muscalunge, 22 pounds. They definitely get bigger. How much bigger do they get? Kind of curious. Let's see. Musky, 70 pounds. So they get three times and then some bigger than what we just caught. Bro. That's crazy. Yeah, we definitely need to keep fishing then. You just sit there bored. I understand. That's when I used to get in trouble. I'd be bored, so... Bro. 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 
You were in the middle of the water. There was no weeds around you. There is no way you could have gotten snagged. I'm just being real with you right now. Freaking ridiculous, dude. Dude, same thing. You're not snagged. You were in the middle of the water. There was nothing around you. Unicorn flathead, 61 pounds. Dude, that's awesome. Good catch. Epic Buckeye's gonna go to bed. Take care, dude. Depends on what you're doing. I agree. If you're not doing anything fun, then it's probably not very fun. Well, I'll tell you, when we do see a muskie, they go for it pretty quick. But it's just finding them. Guess that's why they're the fish of a thousand casts, eh? There's one right there. A game dedicated to bow fishing. You know, I don't, I, I don't do any bow fishing, so I don't know. Might be fun, who knows? That's a big salmon. <laughs> Playing coat and I keep hearing geese in the game, I'm constantly looking up. Oh man. <laughs> getting you, getting you, boy. Call the wild. I figured so. Is this another coho? Kinda looks like it. Kinda looks like a coho. Twenty-four pounder, Emily says. All right, we got, we got, we got. A, Emily's in at twenty-four pounds. Let's see. I'm gonna up the drag some more. He's still fighting. Another coho. 23 pound, three ounce there, Emily. Not bad at all. Good guess. First person shooter for fishing, eh? Is that what we're missing? Bow fishing is hunting. That's, that shouldn't even be classified as fishing. The only thing fishing about it is the fish. If I, if I went hunting for deer with a rod and reel, would I call it deer fishing? I'm curious. Does hunting and fishing rely on, on a rod and, or a reel or, or a bow? If you use a bow, are you hunting? But if you use a rod and reel, are you fishing? I'm curious. There's something right there. He's standing upright right now. Oh, there's salmon. Come on, big nose. Ha ha ha. I'm like a bully for fish. taking all this time trying to keep it out from the weeds if I'm gonna get snagged anyway, you know? 
I see one just to the right, I swear. Spear fishing? See? Do you think a spear is a fishing equipment or do you think it's a hunting equipment? What would you classify a spear at? Like, like a right. Let, let's start with one that's easy. A rifle. Do you classify that as as fishing equipment or hunting equipment? A bow. Would you say? Uh, oh, it's in between. You can go for a fish and, and and you can go for for an animal. And that, I mean, if if you want to do that, I they they uh they shoot fish with with rifles sometimes too. Shot like shotgun, big big gun. You don't have to fight him anymore. Big tuna. <laughs> your fishing shotgun. Make sure you have your fishing shotgun loaded. I think I think uh, I did do I, I went down a rabbit hole one night and the main difference between fishing and hunting that I found when I was looking at the definitions of them was that in hunting you are you are searching for something to kill um, like that's that's your main goal uh, when you're hunting you're you're searching for something to kill uh, versus fishing is is you're just you're you are you are taking part in an activity in hopes that you find something essentially was and and when you find it you're catching it you're not killing it per se you're you're catching it and and that's true when you when you catch a fish you then make the decision if you want to kill it and keep it or if you want to let it go and let it live but when you shoot something with a gun <laughs> Granted, you did a good job shooting it. That thing is gonna die. <laughs> and uh, and when you stab something with a spear, granted, you did a good job spearing it. That thing is gonna die. <laughs> and the same thing goes with a bow as well. If you shot it with a bow, you you put a hole through his body, and you've reeled him in. And you've 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 taken out vital organs for him to continue living. He's gonna die. <laughs> he may not seem like it when you throw him in the water, but ten minutes later when he floats up to the top because he's dead, <laughs> he's he's dead. <laughs> so I, I I think any any sort of activity where you're you are actively killing something in the process of catching it i think that's that's that should be in the realm of hunting i i think anyway <laughs> you can't you can decide what you shoot but you don't catch it until you've killed it you know you know you can't say oh i caught a deer last night and then people will be like, oh, where is it? And they'll be like, oh, I, it was out in the field. I, I caught it, though, with my eyes. Can't say that. But you can say you caught a fish and let it go. I don't know. I, I get too into it. I get, I get too into figuring it out. What about hunting for seashells? <gasps> They're already dead. That's, that's basically looking for fossils. See, it just continues. It just continues the idea that it's just—it's just dead. It's already dead. Mushrooms. The, obviously, mushrooms have taken over. Dead, dead biomatter. The mushroom itself is living. <laughs> what? Well, uh, let's think of something. If someone said, 
If someone came up to you and said, Hey, I'm... You... I'm... I'm fishing for your dog. Versus someone who said, I'm hunting for your dog. Which, which one would you be more worried about? <laughs> There's no fish, try a different spot. Uh, I think there is fish. They're just, we're just trying to, f we're just trying to figure out where they are. And that was a large mouth over there, but we're trying to find a muskie. We can try this other side. Maybe there's more, maybe there's more muskies over here. Ooh, look at this different vegetation over here. Look at this. very disappointing. I hate how I see spots and I think, oh, I bet there's fish there, and then you then you throw out there and you can't. There's nothing. Nothing there. What about the term catfishing? <gasps> Ooh. There you go. See? Now, if they said cat hunting... <laughs> Then it would be even worse because then you'd you know, not only would you fear for that person's dating life But you'd fear for their life in general You know They're they're actively lying to a person and then they're killing them <laughs> Which is not good But catfishing they're just they're just leading someone in like a lure You know leading someone in to try and catch them and, and you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you get a bigger fish than you can muster. You know, just like it when uh, catfish people actually get someone to come and meet them. And then they're like, uh, surprise, I'm a 40 year old man. And then they're like, oh, okay. And then they leave and then it's like, oh, well, guess I wasn't ready for that sort of fish. <sighs> Life, life is fishing, you know. On cranks? You've caught them deep on spoons though, huh? Where where out on spoons? We were given the tip to come out to this middle island, but I don't know where to go. Going so deep your head is hurting. Oh, I know. These are the things that keep me up at night, don't don't you worry. If you're ever wondering them yourself, you can just lean back and just think, it's okay. Because I know Bo's thinking about it before he goes to bed tonight. He's gonna figure out the meaning of life. He's gonna figure it out. And then I won't have to. Super deep or super shallow, okay. Well, it's so dark right now, we should probably change it to daytime. Look at the map, then check again, then follow the way to it. Oh, I don't know. Oh! There's a tiger! Real Tiger. Maybe they're in that vegetation over there. You only fish during the daytime too? Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was wanting to change the daytime. Nick the Wizard, how's it going, man? This guy seems a little bit bigger, maybe. I don't know, it could be in that 20 pound range. Uh, 
Biggest fish in real life. 43 inch, 43 inch red drum off Florida. Twenty-four pounder, Emily says. Sixteen to twenty, Alexander says. Look at this little guy. A little cutie. Twenty-two pound, fourteen ounce. I swear the last one we caught was twenty-two pounds, fourteen ounces. <laughs> Let's uh, we're gonna change time. We only have like one minute left in the stream, but I'm gonna change it. Cast towards the shore. Just hoping we might find a cool spot where they're at. Species of bass, oddly. It's pretty cool. Who's ready for Farming Simulator to come out in a few weeks? Anyone? That's why I'm trying to find Alexander, trying to find a school of fish. Literally just caught a fish not too long ago. You can't tell me there's no fish here. If you go to every body of water and cast out a few times and then say, oh, there's no fish here, then you're never gonna catch anything. Never gonna catch anything with that attitude. My max level in Fishing Planet? No, I'm not. Well, uh, 59, I think, at the moment. Bro, you are not snagged. Stop telling me this. <sighs> Come on. Little pike. Little pike, bro. Come on. Will you start reeling? Oh my god, he wasn't even reeling the whole time. I hate this window. I hate this window, but literally, I hate it. I hate it. I feel like I've just been complaining this entire thing. I've just been complaining this entire time, and I, I just, I, cause I hate this window mode so much. 30 pounder? Oh my gosh, I sure hope so. We'll do a few more casts in here before the end of the stream. Just because some fish did show up on the radar there, so might as well try. Seems like a de decent fish. I'm thinking 22 pounds, 14 ounces. Or, or he just breaks off evidently and then we don't catch him at all. I, I have no idea what happened there. It didn't really tell us, did it? It just kind of disappeared. The next one's on Wednesday, Monday and Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30, every single week. Never changes, Emily. And if it does change, if it does change, Emily, I post about it in the Discord.
think this one's actually smaller than the last one. Eighteen pounds, that one. So did we find a little spot here that's actually not bad? Got two fish in a row. Or at least hooked into them. something back there there are a lot of fish here that are not bass you know in comparison to other maps here make sure we got everything oh yeah this is exactly what it looks like underwater it says there's big fish on the radar I just don't know where they are bro stop it with this nonsense Oh, oh, northern pike there. Why are the pikes so green? They're so green. They're like toxic green. This game's called Bassmaster Nick the Wizard. Bassmaster 2022, man. Twenty pounder, Emily says. you meant a 10 pounder I don't think it's a 10 pounder I'm gonna go with uh let's go with 18 again 18 seems like a good 14 14 all right everyone well I'll tell you what this was fun uh we did catch one monster one so-called monster he wasn't super big but he was, he was a trophy size I think flathead at 54 pounds I want to say not so shabby. I'll use that for the uh, the thumbnail this Wednesday. Just a there was just a, a Chinook. We should have gone for the Chinook then. The green hurts your eyes. I know, right? No. Um, but yeah, we'll continue on Wednesday. Uh, I'm gonna be playing a little bit more Bassmaster, and then and then things might uh, get back to normal a little bit next week. So might play some other games as well. Wait, Bamp says. What are we waiting on, Bamp? I'm assuming you're typing right now. You don't want it to end. <laughs> ah, anywho. That's sweet. Have a nice night. You as well. Uh, everyone, take care. We'll see you next time. And uh, as always, remember everyone. We're one planet, one family. Game on.